Hi, students. Welcome to Learn Biology. I hope you are doing very well. We just done with um, specialized eukaryotic cells in animals. We look at the spermatozoon, erythrocyte, red blood cell, and a neuron. We also touch on um, the muscle fiber, rows and cones. Let's look at specialized eukaryotic cells in plants. You know, in plant, cells are specialized to perform various functions, including photosynthesis. You know, plants are noted for production of food. So in the ecosystem, they are referred to as producers. So we want to look at specialized cells that enable plants to be qualified in this manner the photosynthetic cell. The specific name for the photosynthetic cell is palisade mesophyll. And where do you think photosynthetic cells are found? Is it not in the leaf? Because in the plant, the leaf is for photosynthesis. That's the plant. The leaf is for photosynthesis. And that is not the entire leaf specific part of the leaf. Some parts of the leaf, for instance, if you look at the veins, the lines, veins, we'll look at it later in the next class. The veins are where xylem vessels are. Now, transport water from the soil, transport water from the root through the stem to the leaves. That is their job. On the surface of the leaf, we have epidermal cells that will ensure that the water brought is not evaporated excessively. Then, the mesophyll cells are here. They are going to use water and carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Why is it that the xylem cells cannot undergo photosynthesis? Even though they are plant cells, they don't have enough chloroplasts. Even though epidermal cells are plant cells, for information, they don't have chloroplast. Just an example. Let's look at more adaptations of mesophyll cells, palisade mesophyll. These are also palis these are also mesophyll cells. But these ones are palisid. In fact, a bulk of cells in the in the plant are mesophyll cells. A higher percentage of cells. A larger portion of cells in the leaf are mesophyll cells. We have two groups of mesophyll cells, palisade mesophyll and spongy mesophyll. I hope it is clear. Mesophyll cells, mesophyll cells, mesophyll cells. Enough of that. Let's look at why the mesophyll cells are capable of performing photosynthetic function as against other cells. Okay, now let's draw it. Nicely. They have thin cell wall. They have thin cell wall. So that diffusion will not be a problem. Diffusion of carbon dioxide will not be a problem. Raw material for photosynthesis. Raw material for photosynthesis. Then they have a cereal, let me call it serious vacuum, large one that will store manufactured food. So large vacuum. So this is a cell wall thin. This is a plasma membrane. I told you here, we want to call cell membrane, plasma membrane. Then there's a vacuum that I call serious vacuum. It's not class one vacuum. Fine. Then, all that we are talking about is it's going to store food. What from the food? Chloroplast. 
It means that when you draw a palisade mesophyll cell, you should have more chloroplast than even a xylem cell, if there is any. Okay? Yeah. So this is a vacuum. Don't forget the chloroplasts are this shape. Don't forget, it's inside the chloroplast that we have chlorophyll. So we have drawn it nicely. Your nucleus must be placed somewhere. So nucleus. So if you are asked to draw the structure, every photosynthesis okay in the leaf of a plant, this is what you have to draw. Palisade mesophyll. Diagram of palisade mesophyll. The spelling is more important than the writing. Diagram of palisade mesophyll. If you don't begin with diagram, you are wasting your time. Diagram of palisade mesophyll. No arrowhead. Whether you have seen it in a textbook you are using. You don't have it in a mega. It's not there. Palisade. Let's look at its adaptation to perform this role effectively. Numerous chloroplasts. So that maximum amount of sunlight will be absorbed. It doesn't mean that sunlight that is, you know, hitting the surface of the leaf will be absorbed. Some will even be reflected. Well, the amount that enters the leaf. Sunlight is available. Sunlight is here. Yeah. But we have to be able to absorb it. We have to be able to trap it. The teachers are in your school teaching. Are you able to absorb what they are teaching? How are you prepared to absorb what they are teaching? Chloroplast containing chlorophyll. Chlorophyll has the ability to trap light energy. So numerous chloroplast means high concentration of chlorophyll to absorb maximum underlying amount of energy, not just energy. Maximum amount of light energy. Shall I move on? Fine. Then, after the food is manufactured, large vacuum to store manufactured food. So that more will be formed in the chloroplast. Then the cell wall, I told you already, thin, so that the fusion will not be a problem. Can you imagine? If the cell wall is very thick, like your lab to the gate. By the time come on the other side, they fuse from the gate and get to your lab. It waste of time. You can even get tired and decide to get back. You're asking, where are you going to? Stop here. Come here. You see? But the wall is thin. So just enter fast. Accomplish your purpose. That's the end. That's palisade mesophyll for you. Photosynthetic cell. Let's look at leaf epidermal cell too. Let's draw it so that we compare the two at one. Leaf epidermal cell. Also having cell wall, a vacuum, a nucleus, but no chloroplast. Diagram is omega 1. No chloroplast. No chloroplast. And you know why? Chloroplast contains chlorophyll. Chloroplast contains chlorophyll. What is a pigment, the green coloring matter in plants? You are not adapted to undergo photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is not your job because you don't have a large vacuum. Yours is to protect us. Sorry. <laughs> Yours is to protect. So you don't have to obstruct sunlight from reaching the real center for photosynthesis. I hope you understand that. So they are transparent. They are transparent. In summary, we have looked at palisade mesophyll as an example of specialized eukaryotic cell in plants. Which aspect? Photosynthesis. 
photosynthetic cell, specifically palisade mesophyll. Why is it located near the upper surface of a leaf? What is this function photosynthesis? How is it adapted to perform this? How special is it? It has numerous chloroplasts containing high concentration of chlorophyll for maximum absorption of light energy. It has large vacuum to store food from photosynthesis. It has thin cell wall to ensure efficient absorption of carbon dioxide and exit of oxygen. We also look at leaf epidema cell. We said it lacks chloroplast containing chlorophyll so that it will allow for maximum penetration, no absorption, penetration of light energy to reach palisade cells beneath it. Don't also forget that the outer layer of epidermal cell is lined with cuticle. Cuticle. A waterproof structure that reduces evaporation of water. Because that's the job of epidermal cell. To protect the cell in order to reduce excessive loss of water. To protect the cell against excessive loss of water. Thank you for watching Lera Biology. Join me in the next lesson where we look at tissues in animals and plants. See you there.